uh, Fate's Edict can easily like stop a stop a bat rider from okay. diving. God's prediction, final thoughts? Um, definitely doing their part to slow down this life a little bit, and they do manage somehow to cage Pylai Die. The double stun combo comes out. He's gonna try to eat his way through the trees. Navi, true to form, give him a jungler. Be Moving on to easy. Dendi, but they did lose the battle hunger, and again the Wyvern play from Suneko coming in. At the final critical moment here to save Dendi's life. Puppy being chased out by his old teammate, but top lane, that's the important action where Eternal Envy gets dove, run down, and crushed. Death by the fish, who looks to make Pylite Eye his next victim. Runs out of sprint at the exact wrong moment, but the clap comes out. Ooh, close call for Pi. Just, it feels more like a traditional Navi match when they've been doing well, Ben, where they're very aggressive. But Secret look to answer that aggression. The Yara has the infest. Oh, barely get it off here, but... He's gonna pop out with no HP. One more auto tag from Bulba, and the Frost Morn will work its magic. Wow, yeah, that's especially good versus that Rage hemorrhage and kills. They already have counters versus the Slardar with the Abba, so I, I don't really think that they're too concerned about him getting a lot of farm. Well, Seneca's like, why are there so many heroes here, guys? I need some help. He's trapped in the trees, he goes for the TP out, and it's not gonna happen. Puppy there with the call, secret score the kill. Though they are rather low in general, looks to punish this one. He is gonna get off that amp on Puppy, and with a life stealer there, laying in with physical damage, he'll drop quickly, but he's not finished off. The shield keeps him alive. Now working on Ditya Ra, needs help, isn't gonna get it. He too will fall. General, very worried for Nami. They need like a big winner's curse or like uh, life stealer to get like two or three kills off the back of it in Fest Bomb. Looking for another smoke gank. Dendi moves in. Both teams smokes breaking, but Puppy is the one to get the jump here. Isolating and then quickly bringing down Art Style on the Chen. Now Dendi moving forward. Can they finish off Arteezy? He's low. He's crushed. He's dead. Navi have k killed him off. Now they're going to look for El Capitan as well, but gets healed up by the False Promise. There's the Winter's Curse. Locking Pylite Eye down. Gets melted by his own teammates. Great curse there from Suneko. And now Puppy's low. Can Dendi chase him out? The shield is there. Still have the Bulba. This next fight could could be could be the one. Blink call, catches out too. Big jump in from the storm, and he goes straight onto the back lines looking for Seneko, but Arteezy gets ambushed here by the Orc. It doesn't matter. He's got the supports required to keep him in fighting shape. The false promise there. Still the curse. Follows this up. Arteezy low and will pop in the end. The combo brings him down. Another death for the storm. He's played well, but he seems to find ways to die regardless now. NV trying to clean up on the backside here, but he's so damn squishy. Ditya Ra just chunks them down. Bulba low. Puppy falling too. Is that storm going to be back in time to maybe salvage the rest of the fight? He's up at three seconds. Puppy trying to retreat out, but they keep on nuking him down. Three heroes hit the deck. Will storm jump? Will RTZ go for a big swag play here? Does he try to steal that Aegis? He zips over the pit and out of there. He still has some mana left to work with. Trying to soften them up, keep the vision strong, but Deira's already grabbed the Aegis, the Haste Rune, going to the Batrider. They do pull him in, Arteezy. Can he finish the job, though? Denny's a bit too healthy. He's sent home, all kinds of backup, but it does leave Artstyle barely isolated here. The Winter Wyvern Curse already deployed. Now Artstyle on the run, Arteezy out of mana, but do they have anyone to focus him? Deira, it's the North very Chaotic fight from Navi, but finally, Deira gets on to Pylite. I will ma mangle that Oracle. Bring him down, though. He is likely gonna pay. Barmlet toggling for all he's worth. He'll lose the Aegis. Can he get out on round number two? They, I think, got a Berserker's call. Bit low on Mana Puppy as though. And with that call, with that extra lockdown, Deira will end up going down. Tried for the four staff to save him. But Navi lose an Aegis and lose three. Secret are on the hunting mission. Puppy's going to go in. Gets the two hero call to start things off. Then the Storm jumps in on the backside. Gets off the sounds of Seneca. There won't be a Winter's Curse here too early. Arteezy, do they find this first kill? Deira, he's not dead just yet. The Cold Embrace saves him. Now they look for the turn. There's the curse. Working on Arteezy. Can they finish the job? He's going to be low after this not dead yet though the false promise comes out keeps him alive then envy gets dragged back behind enemy lines they are focusing the drow down the dragon as well turned against him but again the follow-up calls he's immolating he turns on the ghost scepter that just causes him to die a bit quicker storm still going hard in the back lines they have brought down the life stealer but general is healthy bulba may need to turn around now the crush onto him the chase onto arteezy they want to get that extra kill bulba two will die in general now smacking down Pi. Will he have a crush in time? He will. That's three. Gouting out these ganks. Yeah, he is. Like, I like his position a lot in these fights. And now he and, sees a dragon, so. And he will see that raiding party, but. Oh, Batrider also getting caught out here. Dendi's out a bit far from the team. Where's the backup? He says he's embraced. He's healed up by the hand of God, but they had to commit that all early. And then the curse on Arteezy. He's pretty much out of mana at this point. They're using this time to focus on Bulba. He has to pop his ultimate. Envy for now. Healed up. Kept alive, but General's gotten onto him. This little Drow Ranger is no match for the angry fish. General with just one more crush will finish the job. It's actually an auto-tech that finishes him and now Bulba 
could well be next. Secret getting routed. It's Navi again. Three heroes dead. Who's gonna be the hero? Who's gonna be the zero? Navi looks like they might get the jump. The Bleak Crush is there. Only catching out one, but it's Puppy. Isolated, doesn't get off this call until much later in the fight. And then all hell breaks loose with Dendi caught in the middle. He'll quickly drop. General very tanky though. Arteezy running out of mana. He's gonna have to disengage soon. And then Envy will get turned on real quick. The curse is there holding Arteezy in position. The Ghost Scepter under the trees. Envy not auto attacking though. Can they clean up? Did yeah, raw. Isolated dead next. And it seems like Team Secret holding their own in this fight. Two down. About to be a third. Art style drops as well. Envy never dying. Envy got focused a little bit, then Ghost Scepter and ran away, so... Navi just, they didn't have like that clean instant pickoff as we've seen in other engagements, but... Speaking of instant pickoffs, Pile I Die playing the role of the dire this game. 2,700 net worth. The next closest, 9,700. That is a pretty big discrepancy here. Arteezy duking it out a bit with General, but General very tanky. Not the easiest hero to focus down first. Instead, he's gonna look for Dendi. He gets him. Good save there by Suneko, but at the same time, Dendi's been kept in position. The curse onto Envy, but there's nobody hitting him. It's fairly ineffective. And then the blink call. They're gonna find the Bat Rider. They're looking for Suneko as well, and I'll trade Pile I Die for those two kills any day of the where they differ is they'll just use that blink call to zone, then they'll back. Blink Crush comes out onto Arteezy. Will there be a turn? Deyera focusing him down a bit, but remember, he's got the Aegis. It's a lot to commit on Arteezy when he's got a second life to work with. The Lasso gets quickly Oracle False Promised off, and now General on his own as the BKB. Envy standing his ground. He's just not taking damage. This well, now he is, but the False Promise keeps him in fighting shape. Envy will survive. So much committed, not even getting the Aegis on Arteezy, then not quite able to kill off Envy. Can they focus him down with round two? General going in, but the Blink call drags him back. Somebody kill this freaking Eternal Envy! General says, I want help! I need help! He's just not getting it. Blink by blink, inch by inch, slowing him down, but it does leave his teammates alone. Bulba's like, guys, can somebody help me in the front lines? That's not gonna happen until Arteezy shows up. We'll get the second kill of the fight. The Slardar finally drops. They've now added a Lotus, a Lincolns to their arsenal, as well as the Abaddon Ag. They have gotten much more difficult to burst. But now we find that critical opening, though. They immediately jump in, straight onto Arteezy, trying to focus him down, but he's kept alive. There's the Witcher's Curse, keeping Bulba in position, but Puppy with the BKB doesn't care about it. Arteezy on the Sinego in the back. will finish off that pesky old Wyvern, the False Promise. Still assist him. Now the turn on to Deira, who, as he mentioned, is not particularly tanky. Can they bring him down? The Life Stealer will fall next to Art Style. Secret massacring Navi. Three have fallen. They have lost nobody, and they look as fearsome as the secrets of old, perhaps, albeit a small sample size thus far, but this small sample size is about to take them into the grand finals. They'll get to sit back, await their final opponent, and rest up for that best of five match. And less Navi of the answers now. They'll try for it. The last one, Puppy, but Arteezy going in deep, trying to focus down Suneko. has become his worst enemy at this point. He'll back off, look to retreat. Drow Ranger focusing General, who just doesn't feel like a hero when he's being slowed down and carried this much. So much farm, so many, so much HP, but very little way to get in the fight and do something. Even through the Winter's Curse, Arteezy survives. And now Puppy blinking forward, going for the finishing blow here. Will he hit that last Cully Blade? Because there's the dunk that we've been waiting for. And with that secret, wipe out four. They'll take the game. They'll take the series. They'll take a guaranteed top two finish here at Star Ladder. I think that's the best game we've seen from Secret Alternative. Like, in terms of, like, not making that many mistakes and high-level play, everyone helping out each other, itemization, and... All smiles, all yeah, clapping. They and should happiness. be happy. This, they should be very happy with this. So they look uh, almost relieved, I would say. Like, We're in the grand finals. They get yeah. a day off. Or, actually, they don't get a day off. They don't get so. a day off, but they get a match <laughs> off, and they get to, to rest, to, to feel good going into the last day. And going into TI. Well, I think